about my place, but I have an article. There's an article about my. Hey, 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 sir. The article. Don't say you guys. I didn't say anything. Well, I didn't the, the say people anything. Here, the people here, there's an article that anybody can look up about my place. It's the only place in the whole city where you can literally sit on the toilet and watch the game. Very special union right here. There's an article mm-hmm. written on this particular penthouse. Right. Mm-hmm. So you just so so that's why you got two couches. You not gonna try like interior design something? Well, no. yeah, dude, shift shift the camera a little bit. Where would I put a couch? What do you think? Where would I put a couch? Well, if you move, I feel like if you move, where would I put two couch? couches? Them two couches, a couch would fit right there. So where would I put the two massage chairs? Why do you need them? Because they look better. They look into the stadium. So what you guys don't realize is that those are massage chairs that look right into a baseball stadium. So you can literally sit in that chair and watch a baseball. You stadium. like baseball? Hold on, you can watch. <laughs> you can watch concerts because they have concerts there all the time. Bad Bunny was here. We've had pretty big concerts. We have events. You have monster trucks there. You have monster jam there. There's like so much that's all stuff going on. People getting married. It's all type of stuff that goes on there. I'm gonna throw an event there, and I'm gonna have forty thousand people in that stadium. Um, oh, I mean, but if I, I, I'm just, I'm not trying to like be rude or nothing. I was just saying like, cause. If I had money that you claim that you have, I wouldn't just have two, two massage chairs. I was just asking. That's well, what, else, what else would I put in here? I told you, a Cuba sectional would be cute and all. You could put a whole bunch of stuff. Like you just not trying. You just it's like you. I feel like Sean, you just got this one thing made up in your mind. You not open up to nothing else. Like. You so closed off, like, yo, you don't have an open mind to anything but seven wives, and this is how you going to do it, and that's how that. It's like it can't be no one, changes in your life, cuz. Am I the one with the closed mind, or are you guys the one with the closed mind? Because you guys get up here and tell me every day that, first of all, I used to practice monogamy. So, like, I had to have some type of an open mind to adopt this, like, philosophy because I wasn't born into it. So how did I adopt this philosophy if I don't have an open mind? How did I change the way I date if I don't have an open mind? <laughs> mm. Okay. So, Olivia, do you do you not want to do like you you don't see yourself anywhere else? You just want to be on TikTok, just on TikTok with us talking to us every day, running uh, your business. You don't you don't want to go you don't want to go far farther. Uh, we are gonna go far. First off. And we just, here y'all go. Uh, here y'all go uh, with the we. we. Just literally, here y'all go with the we. I'm asking her. I'm asking her. Here y'all go you're, with saying, the you're, you're saying go farther. And I don't know why you just don't say this. We just did a deal with somebody that played against Dwayne Wade in the NBA Finals. I'm not even going to say who it is, but we just did a deal with somebody that played against Dwayne Wade in the NBA Finals. So that's a life changing deal. Most people on here will never do. A deal with an NBA champion. I don't think you understanding. With, with, with I'm NBA not knocking champion. what the fuck you doing, cause right. I'm not well, you knocking. You hard. You, you hard. You got money in your bank. You was hard. You got two pretty girls by your side. I'm not hating. I just want to know why they can't do anything for themselves without you. Okay. That's it. But they can though. They can. If she, if she, if she go do a music video for little baby, you gonna be right there. No, I would not. I would not. Uh, that would be the end of our relationship. <laughs> like, wow. uh, you, you gonna go do a music video with Lil Baby? For what? what? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> like, that's not funny. She's and pretty. What is, like, literally, what is that gonna do? For Bro, me? I once dated a girl that literally Drake tried to fly out. Drake She's off- pretty. Drake offered. Drake <laughs> offered. Drake offered her sixty thousand dollars, and I'm not gonna say. Because I know people be looking into me and all this stuff. I, I swear you, I don't know this person. But she has over a million followers on Instagram. And literally, Drake was trying to fly her out. And literally, I saw the screenshots. I saw so many NBA players in her DMs. Like, like That's so good. But you would be mad if she would have took it? You wouldn't support her? I, wouldn't, I don't get mad at People do what they want to do. I just like react accordingly. Like If she was just like... Like wanted to talk to another dude, I can't get mad. I can just be like, okay, like good luck. I, I wish you well. And then I would go talk to somebody else. Like that's it. I can't get mad. Why can I? Why would I get mad at what other people do? Like that's that's insane. Mm. And also, I wouldn't want to do that anyways. Cause like, who is that impacting? Who is that helping me being in Lil B's music video? Girl, 
if they see you how pretty you is, I'm pretty sure. You gonna get somewhere, girl. Oh no, I know it's coming, man. I already know the circles. Are yeah, like I, you, you I'm gonna get somewhere. The and the NBA players and the NFL players to be shooting a shot at my queens. I already know that's coming. I'm not really saying them, like them might go. Shot, they can probably take her. You feel me? Maybe they can give her like other type of deals, like something that she want to work with. I don't yeah. know exactly what she want to do, but I they're Maybe both they really could. pretty, Dude, and I really feel like. I I really feel like that they can do other stuff like modeling. Like I really see Shanice as like a like a athletic modeler for somebody, but I feel like you would be real mad. I would not. Mm. So if they make their own money, you not mad. They already make their own money. Mm. But I bet they make their own money, but you know how much they make it. We all know how much each other makes. That's not that's bro. I tell them That's every. I tell them. I tell them though. every day. I tell them. Every, you think he should know how much money you got in your bank account? That's a. That's a relationship. Yes, yes one thousand percent. If you're going to be in a long term relationship, you guys should talk about finances. That's the number one reason why couples divorce and couples separate because of finances. If you're not transparent about that, you're not going to be transparent about other things. It's the most intimate thing. Oh my gosh. So you don't but, you're not tell your husband how much money you make. Bruh, first of all, I like girls. I don't like niggas. Cause niggas like that, like like that. <laughs> you you I don't like shit like it. Ask me because she has something, I'm gonna give her something. You feel me? Sorry, it was shooting fireworks over there. Mm. But I, I don't think that they should know how much money I got in my bank account. If they need something, then they gonna have it. Like, I don't think you should know every single time I get paid how much my bank account is or nothing. No, no. Okay. I disagree. Okay. Awesome. But okay, bye. I'm gonna talk. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Hi, can you kick me off, please? Yes, I can. Thank you. Thank you, Killa. Mm -hmm. We got. I, I think we, we called dating for maybe like two weeks, and you were just like, "Push your credit score." How much money you guys saved up? Oh yeah. <laughs> Nobody ever asked me questions like that, but I appreciated it. No, no, no. We got sixty guests, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's bring this girl on. Growing, growing. Hey. Hey, the shave baddest. The shave. Hello, can you turn on your camera? Hello. Hello. It's on. Oh, it's on. Hello, the shave baddest. Right, um. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm just in the dark. Um. So. Are you sneaking off to the bathroom at work? What? Are you sneaking off to the bathroom at work? It sounds like you're in the bathroom. No, my fiance is in the bed and I'm not trying to disturb her. But anyway, um, I wanted to know why you only had what? two massage chairs and it's three of y'all. That's a great question. That's actually a legitimate question. Why do I have two? Honestly, we barely sit in those massage chairs because most of the time we're like working. <laughs> you said what? We barely sit in those massage chairs because most of the time we're working. And plus, I like to have. I mean, you was just bragging about the view, so I thought that y'all use it often, and I was just trying to figure out which one was left off. They may use it often, but I don't think a man should be relaxing very often. I like to work. That is like w w what I like to be doing. I like to be going hard towards my goals. I don't think we've ever sat in the chair two people at the same time, actually, now that I think about it. Nobody's been left out because nobody has sat.